Welcome back. Michael Vick recently canceled a scheduled appearance on Oprah. Eric, is this a big deal or are we just speculating? No, I think it's a huge deal. Honestly, really? when you're talking about his image, it's it reaches so many more people than you or I who just watched the football games. I mean, right. he's being forgiven in that arena because he's playing so well, which is sort of shady. I mean, I, I hate to admit it. I mean, he has been playing well, so people give him a little bit of leeway. But for that audience, they don't watch as much football. They don't yeah. really care about it. They want, like, they want an apology on that sort of stage. Yeah. For, for Oprah, you're reaching a new sort of Right, it's person. a softer kind of audience. But, I, I, I mean... To me, I don't. I don't really care. Uh, you know, I. Well, of course, I read, you don't really care. It's I, not. It's right. not you. I read online though that Oprah was thinking about bringing in some of the adoptive owners of his pit bulls. Okay. And putting him on stage with them. I mean, he's smart to walk away from that. He's. He already gets a ton of junk from PETA. And, sure. And to be on stage with those people would just be another reason for people to attack him. And I. I think that th while those that uh, Oprah's audience still hasn't forgiven him. Yeah. It, I, I think the larger scope of people have. You it, think so? You think the larger scope? The guy may, went like, to prison. No, sports connoisseurs have, have not. They haven't forgiven him. They've said you're playing good football right now, so we'll have you for now. In, in my eyes, he went to prison. He did the time. He did more time in prison than Dante Stallworth did, and Dante no, no, no. Stallworth we're, we're killed the, the man. We're on the same page right here. I, I mean, I, I didn't think he. I didn't think he should have gone to prison as long as he did for that crime. It's not a. It's not a good thing to do. But people have killed a person and not gotten that sort of time. I just think this was a great opportunity for him to reach out to a, a segment of the world that he would. No one's watching Michael. None of them are watching Michael Vick unless it's about dogfighting. Right. So these people are the ones that need to be talked to for his image to be reinstalled to what it once was. I just think it was a huge mistake and a huge blown opportunity not to go on the show. I know you're saying it might have been an ambush of, sh of sorts, but if he goes on there, he says the right things, he comes out looking right. better than ever. I, I agree, but at this point, I just don't care. I think that it, it's being the, the not appearing on the show is making more attention than actually appearing on the show. Yeah, I, th I, th I think it's a big deal he didn't do it. He, he should have done it, but we're on the same page here. Yeah. Well, that's it. That's it for another. That's it for another one-on-one -on -one sports. But be sure to check out our weekly radio show on WSOE eighty-nine point three every Wednesday night from ten till midnight. Also, read our weekly article in the Pendulum. Watch our webcast on YouTube and become a fan on Facebook. As always, for everyone here at one-on-one -on -one sports, whose side are you on?